We're going to review the Kaminga 3H Tritium Compass. And it's a very popular compass, mostly because this is almost the same exact model that the military gets from Kaminga. I think there's a couple minor differences, but the overall quality and function is, is still there. Uh, so let's take a look at it. As you can see, it's the Model 3H. And what's cool is it, it's a lensatic compass. Uh, Kaminga makes another one that has phosphorescent pieces on the actual dials here. And this one has tritium, which is a radioactive material that will glow in the dark for some say maybe 10 to 12 plus years. And then I think you can send it back to Kaminga and actually get it reserviced. So very cool compass, very robust. I mean, this is pretty heavy metal, so you, it'll take a beating and keep working. Um, it is actually, there is no liquid in here, given their design. It's free floating. And what's cool is when you throw down the magnifier, a little piece comes up from the bottom and it's actually gonna lock that dial in place so that when you do fold it up, it's going to minimize the amount of movement so that that thing doesn't get broken in there. So that's a really good feature and it makes this thing much more robust. So let me try to zoom in here. Again, it has that magnifier, which is really cool. It does have a really good sight wire on it too. And what a lot of people like to do is the traditional pose so you can sit here and actually shoot an azimuth by using the sight wire and actually being able to see the dials too through the lens. Um, so if I can zoom in here real quick and show you, um, it does have degrees and radians and you can see the little bit of green areas, so the, the west, east, north dial, those are going to light up, that has the tritium on it. Um, this thing looks fantastic in the dark. I can attest to that firsthand by using it. And of course it has a plastic ring so that you can, when you're shooting your, your azimuths, if that's your preferred method, move it around. There's a little tritium on here so this little bar lights up too. Really cool effect. And of course, if you look down in there, there's another uh, tritium piece on the base um, pointing forward. So really good features, really excellent sort of capabilities. Um, they do go with a plastic ring, and if, if you do a little research, I think this used to be a metal ring once upon a time. Uh, the design engineers decided that they were, when they were fixing and resurfacing compasses, the metal ring was actually causing them to break the glass quite a bit. So they went for plastic, allows them to resurface this thing a lot easier. So doesn't sacrifice too much on the functionality. This thing's still made very well and can take a beating. Uh, so don't worry about that at all. Um, but yeah, you have the overall sort of capability of a compass. You know, a lot of people are thrown off. They, they buy a brand new one of these and they want to know that it's going to last them for a good 10 to 12 years for the tritium. And again, once that thing stops producing light, then you just have a basic compass, right? You can still use it in the daylight. You can still uh, use your flashlight at night to use it. It just doesn't have the glow in the dark capability after that 10 to 12 year period. But you'll notice some markings here. This is not the date. So a lot of people get concerned. They think that's the year 77. They, they get it in the mail and they're like, oh my gosh, this thing's already out, outdated. Uh, that tritium's gone. That's not the case. So uh, don't let that uh, scare you. But overall, again, very good design, very good compass. Um, this thing is just fantastic and, and made to take a beating. So highly recommend.